If you let my chickens go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will deter you. I am here in Chickenlandia today, and I just decided to come out and show you guys um, all the new things that uh, we have done in the chicken yard since my last makeover video. This past year, we had two predator attacks. Um, one was a raccoon who came in the middle of the day, very bold. Uh, and while my son was in the backyard with his nanny, uh, me and my older child were out somewhere. And this raccoon came in the middle of the day and killed two of my ducks and one, uh, and one old chicken. So that, that was very sad and I felt um, a lot of guilt from that. So that happened and then a few months later in the fall, that was in the early spring that that happened and that's when you have to watch out for raccoons in the middle of the day because raccoons are naturally nocturnal animals. They do not like to come out during the day but they will if they have babies that they're nursing that, that where they need to get more food, they need nourishment. Um, or if they're just desperate for food, that's when you see a raccoon out in the middle of the day. Um, and there has been some clear cutting nearby. And so this year we've had, or this past year, we've just had so many more predators than we normally do. Uh, we had a bobcat here, not in Chickenlandia, <laughs> but very nearby. We had, um, coyotes and we have had um, of course raccoons and we had a hawk attack this past fall so that was really tough um, and it was another situation where I was like oh you know I could have done better we all make mistakes um, we all are kind of learning by doing many of us um, that's what chicken keeping is all about. It's about trial and error. And hopefully by watching this video, I can maybe save you f from some heartache because it's, it's tough when your chickens get attacked or killed. Um, but it, and it was something that perhaps could have been preventable. So I'm just gonna go around and show you what I've done. So I say that I did all this, but actually I didn't. <laughs> I may have been the brains behind these renovations, but my friend Julie and her wife Chris, um, they are really the ones that came here and helped me out and made this happen. So, so much thanks to them. Um, it was not an easy job. The main change that um, has happened since my last uh, makeover video was that I have had netting put into the yard. So when you have flying predators, the only way that I've found that you can deter them is with netting. Um, if you live in the country and you can have uh, large animals like a donkey or a llama um, or a large dog or working dog, then that could help a lot. But I can't have those things. Um, I live pretty much in the city, so I have to come up with um, different ideas. Um, so this is very, very strong netting. It is not cheap, unfortunately. Um, and I will put the link in the comments. I can't remember the brand of netting or anything right now, but 
It is very, very strong. It's woven, which makes it stronger. That's what you want. Unfortunately, th this netting was very difficult to work with. Um, Julia and Chris had a heck of a time. Even just getting it out of the package, it was, it was, it was poorly packed. But even so, um, it is very strong and it's really what I felt like I needed here. I wanted to be able to go out and not worry about coming home right at dusk. Um, I just wanted, I just wanted that peace of mind. So not only will this netting deter flying predators like hawks or eagles or owls at night, but it will also be a big deterrent for a rascally raccoon <laughs> who is trying to get into Chickenlandia. Um, now, if a raccoon worked on this all night, they may be able to get in. I'm not sure, maybe not, but, but maybe. Raccoons are really strong and they're really smart. So if they find any weakness, they could possibly get in here. And that is why I make sure to lock my chickens up at night. That is super important. Um, it's gonna be your number one defense against any nighttime predators, raccoons, weasels, um, you know, even rats, uh, you can keep them out if you have a nice, secure coop. So in my classes, I teach that if a two-year-old can get into your coop, a raccoon can. <laughs> that is how smart they are. They're like primates. <laughs> they're not, but, but it seems like they are sometimes because they're so smart. And they can open things. They, they just have these funny little hands with thumbs and they know how to use them. So um, it is good for you to have a really good solid door for your coop that closes very securely and that is not easy to open. If you can open, if you think your two-year-old can maneuver it enough to get it opened, then definitely a raccoon can. And a raccoon is stronger. A big raccoon is stronger than your two-year-old. Yeah. Oh God. Really, Philippe? <laughs> he attacked my shoes. <laughs> That's not okay. And any opening that I have inside the coop, for instance, I do have um, ventilation in there. Those are also covered with hardwire mesh because I really don't want anything getting in there. And it's amazing, especially rats, how well they can climb. It's amazing how well weasels can climb. Um, you just don't want anything having the opportunity to get into your coop. So if you have an opening, make sure that you secure that opening with hardwire mesh. Now we do have uh, digging predators here. I did mention that there are coyotes. They don't really come this close to a house, but they're around. Um, so just in case, there are some areas where I have hardwire mesh buried into the ground um, around the perimeter of my yard along the fencing. Uh, I, I don't really see a dog or a coyote digging under here unless they really had a long opportunity to do that, which um, just where I'm located really, really wouldn't happen, hopefully. <laughs> The netting is very securely attached to the fence and it goes all the way up above the um, basement windows and then it's secured to the house actually. We're hoping to kind of straighten it out slowly. Um, it, like I said, it was a lot harder to deal with than we anticipated. It was a lot harder to maneuver and to handle. Julie and Chris did the best they could, and then probably in the spring we'll do some more securing with it, just to make it look a little bit more uniform and um, a little bit nicer. I live in a subdivision, um, so I have to be really respectful of my neighbors. It's not really a chicken neighborhood, but it is now. <laughs> Thank you. 
So another way that you can deter lots of critters from your yard is to use ammonia. Now, ammonia is not something that you want your chickens to be inhaling. You don't want to be using it in the chicken coop. Uh, you don't want it around, you know, inside your chicken yard. Um, what you can do is put it around the perimeter of your chicken yard. And I don't mean just like dumping it out. What you need to do is get a rag and soak uh, the rag in ammonia and then you can tie that up around the outside of your fencing so that your chickens aren't coming into contact with it. Or what I did is I put it into a plastic tub, these small plastic tubs. I poked holes in the tub and um, I placed those around the perimeter of my chicken yard. And what that does is it makes um, curious critters believe that there is a large predator here that has marked the area and claimed the area and they don't want to mess with that predator, so they will stay away. What I always say is when there is um, a predator attack, it's, it's easy um, and it's natural to get upset at the animal. But my goal is to live in harmony with the wildlife whose land I have essentially taken from them so that I can um, have somewhere to live. So because I am here in their land, I want to be respectful of them and anticipate what they need uh, to not come into my chicken yard. <laughs> I, do, I do not want them coming in here. And as the president of Chickenlandia, as a chicken keeper, it is my responsibility to keep them out. It's not their responsibility to know not to come in because they're animals. So they're gonna do what they need to do to survive, just like humans do. Let me know if you have any questions. You can ask them in the comments. I'll see you next week and thank you for joining us today. Give me back my chickens! <laughs> I will find you. <laughs>